Hi, I'm Stephen Crowley. Thanks again for joining me for another watercolour painting demonstration. Today, I'm going to go at Hadrian's wall from a photograph someone sent me. Um, so you've got the wall here, sort of grass path walking down, and you've got the wall sort of drifting away right towards the horizon. A very high horizon line in this one, that much sky. Um, trying to get a little bit of lace air in the sky, sort of trying to get it to drape it light over some of this foreground area. would like to have got the side just a little bit darker just to try and focus that light a bit more but before I show you how I painted this one let's have a quick look at the materials. So on my palettes I've got ultramarine, cad yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. got my big Ron Ranson 8 brush and 15 by 11 Fabriano. So let's get cracking. Big brush, lots of water because I want to try and get some sort of atmospheric colours in the sky and I'm going to go with a bit of bit more water. Raw sienna, glittering crimson, work that way down. And I'm going to go in with a bit of, bit of ultramarine in there as well. Pop that in with the crimson. A nice sort of purpley type of colour. You can see I'm trying to get sort of light areas in the sky. Dipping the tips, just the very corner of the brush in the water, just to loosen all the paint up. And a bit of paint's grey there as well, just to darken up a little bit. More blue, more crimson. Brush this in. Something like that. Yeah. We've got quite a high horizon line on this one, so I've probably already fiddled with the sky more than I should have done. Now the horizon's right up there somewhere. So I'm gonna go a bit more blue. Purple, bit of crimson, bit of blue. And then we've got some very distant land right right up far away. Something like that. That comes around there, something like so. Just soak this water up at the bottom. Then clean the brush. I'm doing a bit of raw sienna, a bit of cad yellow. A little marine in there. Something, something. Just trying to bury this land. There's not a huge amount going on in the in the landscape, so I need to try and bear it to try and compensate. Right, so sort of come down, looking out there to like that. Clean the brush, get back to another colour. I'm just going to go in raw sienna. I'm just going to push that in there like that. It's coming around. 
thin like so. It's coming up around there like that. A bit more crimson. Um, cab yellow. Bit of blue in there as well. A few little dips and dabs. So I put that on the bottom. Right, let's just give this a quick stretch, get it flat against my board, and then let's put some of this wall on the left hand side. Now at the top, there is just a little bit. A few like grasses and things growing, so I'm going to start off with a bit of raw sienna. And it's going to come down there like that. And then disappear away. Right, let's get this wall in. So I'm giving a bit of, bit of brown, a bit of blue. And I'm going to try and vary it as much as I can while I'm bashing away with this big brush. Somewhere down. Somewhere down there like that. Just Something like that. Right, now we need some of those stones, that way, so I'm thinking. These stones are bigger and bigger in the in the foreground. Just little dots in the distance. Imagine you've got big ones there. Well, I'll paint over some of this when I uh, put the grasses in. Some grass is pushing right up to this this wall. So, right, let's paint get some of the grass in there. I'm just giving strain some cad yellow, pushing that right up. Clean the brush, take the excess water off. So a bit of a brush in there. Something in that direction. 
section, or green. So a bit more blue. Blue, a bit of Payne's grey, really, really dark, strong, rich. Green. Yeah, that's all this is, it's clashing with that colour of that wall. Maybe I should have done the wall slightly lighter. Um, so next, but dark wall, I need to make green is a little bit lighter I think. I have to clean the brush. Let's turn this tea towel brown, it's getting soaking wet. Raw sienna. Yeah. Grasses and things growing up there. Make that look better. Just using the car to scrape in a few little grasses and things. And a few more over here. This area here, yeah, it's giving a little bit, a little bit watery. Okay, we've had a quick dry. Some darker stuff. I might, I might just leave it there actually. Just leave it there, I think. Um, Let's stick the main side and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting in the main side. Let's have a closer look. Quite a high rising line, so quite a simple sky. A few little clouds scattered about the place. We've got this nice light area. Um, 
maybe I was trying to get it a little bit darker to create a more, more of a light effect coming down the centre so I didn't quite get it as dark as I wanted and then putting that distant land the same colour as the sky which pushes it really really far back and then we got a sort of grassy banks up here another layer of land coming closer and closer towards us and we've got the wall which sort of sweeps round right into the foreground scrapes it out with the rocks with the cards to create the rocks got some big rocks there right on the foreground and obviously they get smaller and smaller until there's, you can't pick any out whatsoever as it goes away right into the distance we've also got a little bit more variation in the land there um, and then sort of cleaning the brush then just trying to get a sort of light yellowy green colour again just to try and contrast to the other greens that have, that have gone on um, Try to get a bit more variation, this well trodden sort of grassy path there in the foreground. And then just on these little banks, sort of the land sort of dips over there. And you can see what I've put it really dark to counter, to counter change against the lit background. Again, same here. Um, this little uh, sort, of, sort of trees and bushes right in the distance, nice and dark, sort of silhouetted against that light sky. Now I've used uh, just a card just to scrape out a few foreground grasses, some on the left and then a few more here on the right. And now you just sort of frame this walkway, just sort of leading you down the path along the wall right over the over into the horizon. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you keep practicing, I hope you was painting along with me. So I hope all your watercolours are going well. Um, any questions please ask. And I'll see you again soon.